unhealthy slash like like relationship with food and like health and fitness and like what I've done so far to like repair it. Um, and, and make myself <laughs> make myself you know more of a person who just has a healthy sort of relationship with health and fitness and food and all those sorts of things. Always feed me rice and beans, like stop. Anyways, like love rice and beans, but like y'all giving a six year old like two plates. They weren't doing it. Most people wasn't doing it. But yeah, I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. Y'all the big kids, the big kids in the family, the little jump jumps, the little jump jumps. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And you know, yeah, being kind of the chubby kid in the family, they growing up adolescent. 
that's when it went downhill and that's when uh my just relationship with my body and my relationship with food went really bad now freshman year you know we had i had pe so you know i had rarely ever actually these cars are so disrespectful
was like, yep, I'm gonna start working out. Yeah. <laughs> and I was in mind you like, I think the main thing with health and fitness is that, like, initially my intention to start the, this whole thing was because it was out of insecurity. Um, like, I was just like, you know, insecure. Like, I just... 
more so food like i'm great with working out but just more so food and just overcompensating with exercise like that's just not sustainable in my brain and none of y'all doing that because it just doesn't work at all it's not gonna work out you know movie stars and people do that for a living they work out three hours a day that's not for us regular folks and i hope y'all know that that's regular folks that's regular folks Thanks.
gotcha and some water. I don't know. Like, I feel like I just found a balance. Um, and I'm still learning, you know, like I'm only, I'm only two years in and I'm still learning. There are some people have these success stories of like, I did this X amount, whatever. And, it, you know, I really had to tell myself that this is no longer, uh, you know, lose quick sort of solution but this is like a lifetime commitment to myself and honoring myself and honoring my body that I will like nourish it and take care of it to the best of my ability and that's a forever thing you don't stop that once you look a certain way or you know what I'm saying and I think it's so true when you kind of get high off of the feeling the feeling of like I don't know dopamine adrenaline serotonin that kind of happens when you work out but just coming from a place of just love when I'm doing these moments and being grateful and having some sort of gratitude that I can eat that I even have limbs to move you know sometimes it doesn't always make me want to get out of bed and work out but when I think about it like that it does like make me like okay I should definitely Let's say seven to eight times out of ten, because it doesn't always work. I'm telling y'all, sometimes I'm like, I'm not working out. I didn't work out yesterday. Um, but for the most part, it really helps me try to stay at least semi consistent with my routine. If anybody's struggling with this, I really, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And, you know, I didn't get perfect, I didn't go get professional help. And some people may need professional help for real, you know. And I acknowledge that, you know. It's not always mindset and get a gratitude journal. It's not always that simple. But those are definitely things that had helped me with getting the gratitude journal. And um, really trying to dissect as to 